Hey, Very Fishy fans. Uh, as you know, I do a lot of breeding over here uh, in the Very Fishy room, but uh, this is one of the few times where I have no eggs in any of my tumblers. So I wanted to take a quick opportunity to tell you a little bit about the tumblers and what my thoughts are on them. And then I'll show you later on, once I get some fry in the tumblers, what they're, uh, how they work. So check it out. So over the years, I've collected a bunch of different egg rockers. The first time one of my fish was holding, I had no idea what to do. And I had seen a video and I quickly, quickly put together one of the DIY uh, egg tumblers. It's made from a sponge filter, uh, excuse me, a sponge filter tube. Got some pantyhose here. You got a, uh, a heater clip. These actually work very, very well. Um, what I don't like about them is that they're real small, but they work great, economical, easy to have a couple of these. Um, I also picked up one of these from a, a local auction. Also works great, but the problem with all of these, except for the last two, uh, basically it clips onto your tank with a magnet. Uh, DIY parts, you can build this yourself. It's got a screen on the top. I don't know if you can see that. What happens if you put them in a tank, even though this has two screens, when the water gets sucked up, some of the dirt in the tank gets sucked up as well and may contaminate the eggs. And sometimes that's the reason why the eggs uh, fuzz or fungus. But what I found a lot of times is the reason why they fungus is because they're not fertilized. Um, here are some interesting models that I have. Uh, I picked these up from a guy on Craigslist. I uh, bought a tank from him, actually. And this is um, also a DIY, but at the bottom, if you can hear, there's some lava rocks that are in this tube. Works on the same principle. Uh, the water sucks through, goes up and out, and the eggs tumble. Same thing here, that the dirt also could get, gets through and goes and, get, and may contaminate the eggs. Got two of those. Um, recently, uh, I saw the egg uh, cobalt uh, egg rockers, and I, uh, I actually think these are really good. Uh, I'm not endorsing them, nothing like that. Uh, but if cobalt wants to send me some more, that would be great. Um, they have a little bit different principle. I got the the 65 and the 80. Um, really good. Uh, works on a little bit different principle. They have on the top here. I'll show you. There's a sponge filter with a screen and uh, the water, the air basically draws the circulation for these egg rockers are as follows. The water gets, the air gets drawn up and then the water gets pulled down through the filter. So there's a circulation motion and when the eggs are at the bottom, they get pushed around. I find these really, really good uh, the larger one actually has uh, a removable, um, if I can, can do it, a slide so you can plant this in your tank, slide this in and out. Some of the other advantages I found is when I'm actually loading these up, and I'll show, I'll, I'll include a, uh, a snippet on that, is you just fill that up and drop the eggs in. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about it like uh, loading some of these other eggs. So uh, there you go. These are a bunch of different uh, egg tumblers that I have. I think they, they all work. Um, some work a little bit better than the others. Uh, I found, like I said, I prefer the egg rockers right now over the DIY set. So you make your choice. They all work, whatever your budget works. So I have a, a, a Eureka Red female she's holding and I'm gonna see if I could strip her down again. Screwdriver. Oh yeah, here she comes. Here come the eggs. She's not liking that too much. I'm trying to give you guys a good camera angle here too. It's kind of hard.
There you go, I think I got them. Wow, she's got a whole load of eggs. Okay, so this is um, one of the reasons why I was gonna sh tell you about the tumbler. I have the egg rocker here. Um, and what I like to do is, I'm gonna zoom out here for you guys. Right, the easiest technique I found to get the, I have already filled, get the eggs in the basket is the simple, uh, I kind of get them all at the bottom, just kind of poking it down, not touching anything there. And then without even having to really do anything, I just kind of drop the eggs in there. There we go. Hope you can see. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is simply put the top on. And now I could do some other things. I can freestanding. I could take my time getting the eggs in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the egg tumbler right into the tank. No worry about anybody. Uh, messing around with them It'll fill up a little bit just from the pressure and they always keep a um, I don't know if you can see here an open airline with uh, a connector so it simply is plugging them in opening the valve up getting adjusted There you go. So I kind of want to give you a, a close-up shot here. Um, as you can see, the fish in the tank are going a little wild. The eggs are, are tumbling. They're looking great. And they'll just stay in there. As you can see, the water is coming down the tube and blowing the, blowing the eggs and keeping them circulating. The fish are just having a fish fantasy. By the way, those are, those are dragon bloods and Taiwan reefs. And there's, I think there's also some Eureka Reds in there as well. I'm going to give you a slide over and show you what's going on in here. Oh, you guys can't see it. This is... I'm going to, I'll erase that here, 315. And these are one reef that's in the small egg rocker. Thanks for watching, Very Fisher fans. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out VeryFisher.com and my Instagram account.